Hi there. I have a question. Do you want to see this wonderful building on a piece of paper or in real life? If you have choose the second option, please get yourself together and go to Russia. I'm waiting for you. What can I say about big theater? It's big, it's huge, and it's amazing. Some shows in there are not on Russian, they are on English language. And also you can see a ballet where girls like dancing. If you don't know Russian, it won't be a problem. So there is a big fair to Kremlin, the Manezhna Plochet, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of wonderful, amazing places. But if you'll have a walk around the center of Moscow, probably you'll get tired. You will tired. And I will not show you this oasis. Oasis? When you're in a desert and you're like, oh my God, I'm so thirsty. And then you can see trees and fountains and rivers and animals and wonderful birds flying around and you want to go there. So we have such a place in center of Moscow. It's Park Zaryadia. Maybe you've heard about it. Maybe you've seen the Radio Park in our Moscow walkout part three or four. It was in a winter period. It was cold, but we've made it. So today we'll spend a little more time in there and I will try to tell you about the things I've never seen for myself, such as ice cave or virtual panoramas. You kind of sit in a chair and it's like, whoa, 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 easy, take it easy. And there is smells and water and everything. And there is a big screen and it's like a, you know. Can you be a little quiet, please? I'm making a video here. Yes. All those robots. Kids, everybody makes photo in this place. It's a zero kilometer. The place where everything has started for Moscow. It's a legend. I don't know if it's true. A lot of people throw coins in here. So if you're hungry and have no money, just come over to this place, pick some coins and have a meal. There is many food available for like 10, 20, 45, 5, 5 rubles, one bucks. So yeah, that's a money gathering place there behind my back. And the entrance to the Red Square, and that's where I'm going to take the before. Ponka, my friend Ponka will take some food because she's hungry and we'll go to the Red here to have a little meal. As always, what else can we go for uh, in the park? Just for having a lunch. Uh, you might say, hey guy, hey boy. Hey boy, you look skinny. Why are you eating so much? Uh, it's just because I'm eating only when I'm filming because my boss gives me just enough money to have a meal. I'm working for the food. So if I had a lot of job, I will be, you know, and I'll be fit and in good shape. And that's where I need your help. Press the heart button, subscribe our channel, ask something, I'm happy to answer and I'll be your guide in Russia if you'll come here anyway for free. For free can you do some activity come on guys i'm trying here wow at the red square there is many options where to go after we are going through red square to azariadia because it's very close on the right there is alexandrovsky sad very beautiful place with a few spots such as grot and you can touch the kremlin itself and on the other side is um, Nikolskaya Street. We've been there before also in a winter period. It's a, like walking street, quite beautiful, especially at nighttime with a lot of restaurants and street musicians. So also take a step inside. And the most important thing I want to share you over there, Nikolskaya Street, Sabor Vasilya Blazenova, Kuranty Clock, Muslim, me. On Kuranty, you can check the correct time. Red Square Classics. Just take a seat on the floor and make some photos. Lenin, also known as Vladimir Ulyanov, one of the most uh, important uh, political person in Soviet Union history. This one is Sabor Vasilya Blazhenova. It's one of the most 
beautiful buildings in the world. It's count as eight miracle, eight world miracle wonder. I don't know, like a pyramid, you know, this is number eight in the list. Top ranked by the most uh, important journalists. I don't know who those people who said that this is a miracle or wonder, uh, this is or not. But anyway, uh, the story of this, uh, of the guy uh, who built it, the king said, can you build another one? Because I like it a lot. And he answered, yeah, I can bang bang and he lost his eyes the guy who built it because the king don't want anyone ever to have a building like this nearby his house and this is a king house the kremlin and this is the the beautiful sabor ask some questions please please i need your activity i think that one looks like a candy house i don't know or uh, you know like a gaudi in barcelona something in common on this especially those parts they look sweet and right here on the right side you can find the entrance to the radia and that is where we're going to step inside because we are really tired and while you're in center of Moscow, you can make your route build up like this. So you can make one hour step into uh, Zaryadye, have a good rest, don't forget your blanket. The most important thing in Russia is a blanket and, uh, and some, some liquid. Which one is up to you? So here we are at the Zaryadye park. Isn't that wonderful? Don't you want to come here to take a seat on those wooden benches to have a peaceful atmosphere? No, I'm just fooling around, man. Come on, it's not the uh, it's not the place. Who, would, uh, what kind of a like advisor would I be? If it's like, hey guys, why don't you come to Russia? Take a look at that. No, Zagadzi is just in front of me, and it's very small park comparing to all the others. But it's very high tech park. Yeah, many uh, things you can never. That's my name, Serioja. Uh, I thought he, he, he was shown for me. Serios, serios. Um, anyway, um, there's, as I was saying, ice caves, different, I don't know, just like, take, like you take a look together, okay? Because it's also a, a lot of mysteries for me in this park. I know only that before there was a big hotel, I think Hotel Russia, Russia. It was four levels down underground and four levels up. Wonderful oasis in the center of Megapolis. Wonderful job. Great job. They washing a house. If you enter in the radio from the Red Square, then you can see a lot of churches on the left side, just like five, six, seven of them. And you can read a lot about each one of them and uh, they're quite, quite interesting and beautiful. Maybe we'll get down to one of them. And on the middle and on the right side, it's a green zone, trees and landscapes. And these, I think, more interesting because why is the radio so interesting for you and for me? because there is many different plants from all the Russia, even from the north part. Let's take a look. Here you can see a trees, very small. You can see it. same as in north part everywhere, not only in Russia, because of the cold and the winds, the trees is getting low, you know, they're like, like a carpet. So it's easier for them to survive and also for the mammals and small animals to hide out and find some food. And this landscape is like a, a little bit north and you will ask, how is it possible? Quite easy, they have a microclimate system here, so it's always like a little bit freezy. Right here, I feel myself a little bit chilly than just 10 meters from this place. Like in there, it's more it's warmer than here, right here, right now. There is many speakers in Zaryadia, so you'll be always in a, always surrounded by a, good, by a good music and a good view. And it's, you know, it's like a, really like a little miracle because there is everywhere around there is a big city the road and kind of the wall outside different world inside you, you can see the building just in here it's park with different types of flora and fauna i'm always messing up which is flora and which is fauna fauna is for animals flora is for trees and plants so the plants here are really great for example take a look at this small pine and that's why I love this park 
in the center of Moscow, you can find yourself in a very relaxing, calm atmosphere where you can eat or kissing. They stop kissing, but they do it before. And all this just in 10 meters from the Kremlin. Making a picnic or a little relaxing pause is not the only thing you can do in the Red Year. Over there, there is an ice cave. You gotta take a blanket to get inside. Or you can get a little bit freeze, cold. And like, <coughs> what is not good at this time? Anyway, a uh, uh, ice cave. I'm not, I've never been there before. I even don't know why. Maybe I'm just, you know, getting all those things for the future. When I get tired of all the things, I'm able to take a look every day there will be something else left for the future. It's like my backup, backup. So ice cave. Over there, there is a kind of an amphitheater there. There is a people performing on a stage and you're sitting on an open air, but under the roof. So no rain uh, and you can listen, watch, feeling good or feeling bad about their, their performers, but it's up to you and up to them. Maybe I will perform there someday, I don't know. Um, what else? Over there, and we will take a step also, uh, a bridge, which is kind of a flying, it's not flying, basically, it's just going like on parallel. Can I say parallel? Yeah, I can say anything I want. Parallel under the ground with no columns, so it's just have, have a few columns right here and then like flat platform and you can feel it shaking when there's many people on the bridge at the same time. And there's always many people at this bridge at the same time. Uh, and behind me, the little a little pound. And also there is museums, uh, souvenir shops, restaurants, uh, a boat starts from here. You can like take a walk on the park and then sit in a boat and go down or up on the Moscow River. Uh, and don't forget to press the heart button, subscribe our channel, and you know, make a repost. Do something to help me out. I'll appreciate that a lot. Two reasons why I breathe that hard. One, I'm getting on the highest point in Zahadia. Second, it's hot in here because those roof is quite special. There is more than 100 light panel, sun panel that provides electricity and light for the plants, that, which is like here around me is southern plants. Over there is north plants, here are the south plants. Cold, warm, warm cold so pick your zone and chill in there but here's the temperature is like i can feel it much higher than outside and what else interesting in here more than one million of plants not different plants million of plants about ten thousand different species of plants is uh, completely uh, is uh, growing in uh, park zaradia so all not only you can rest here you can really know much about flora of russia about the plants of russian federation let's go outside where it's chilly, chilly. I can take it from here, my dear Ponka. And those are the plants, different plants. So people also like to make a foliage inside. In the dome. These are one of the longest walls in Moscow. And uh, it started at, um, at the Chinatown district in Moscow and it ends up at the Zoretti Park. So that's the place you, uh, you can enter. And yeah, Chinatown. Oh yes, there's like a small street. I don't know the, the word in English language. So I like small street, yes. So Chinatown area is behind me and that will be maybe in uh, one of the next episodes about the Chinatown in Russia. It's not China at all. When I see like uh, Chinatown in New York, it's, it's much more different and better. If we're talking about Chinese culture and Chinese uh, designs, interiors and views, but it's still Chinatown with no China, but it have their own special things. So you'll like it.
these are for this area, which is almost all the plants here is necessary for extra extra water. I don't know. So just so it also makes a feeling that it's like an ancient period when dinosaurs was walking on a, on, a, on a, our planet and there was like psh, was everywhere and the giant leaves, of course. Why not? Who, who, it's impossible to pretend that there was, was dinosaurs with no giant leaves. And some steam coming from the ground. And this is the media center in Zagati Park. If you have some questions, you can find always a person who will give you an answer and a restaurant. So that's Kremlin. That's the Red Square. So, and there is a, a big theater over there. So we cross the road, walks like this, and then goes through the red square, right in the radia. Then walk around there, and now we're going back. If you'll be here around, my advice to you is go to this place, from the radia on the bridge and on the right. I've been here and the sculptures of playing kids, amazing place, very spiritual. And uh, our next trip will be around Kremlin itself and there is Alexandrovsky Sad where you can also find a place for chill and yeah don't forget to use a map and that's uh, yes that's a wall of China wall Chinatown wall this there is there she goes over here and that's a Chinatown area so Moscow city center is everything is close and interesting stay on the go on the go to Russia